back. Today we're going to talk about greatest common factor and least common multiple, or GCF and LCM. Part of the thing that we do when we, when we talk about greatest common factor and least common multiple is we get into this habit of listing things. So what we're going to do first is we're going to find the greatest common factor and least common multiple of 15 and 25. So let's look at this. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to list the factors of these things. Factors are numbers that multiply together to get the number. So I'm going to start this way. 1 and 15 are the first two factors. And I'm going to move up from there. So then 2 doesn't go in, but 3 does. And it's 3 times 5, so uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, let's look at 25. 1 and 25. Let's see, 2, no, 3, no, 4, no, 5. So it's 5 times, oh, 5 times 5. Hmm. So my greatest common factor, I look for the biggest common one. Well, it's 5. Let's talk about least common multiple. Least common multiple would be like, I'm multiplying these things a bunch of times to get numbers, and then I figure out what's the smallest one. So what I start doing is this. And 15 times 1 is 15. I'm going to start listing these multiples. And then it's 30, then 45, then 60, then 75, then 90, then 105, then... 120, 135, 150. I'm kind of doing this in my head, okay? So I've listed out a bunch of multiples, okay? <sighs> then I got to list out the multiples of 25. Well, when I think about multiples of 25, I think about quarters. So I've got 25 cents, then 50 cents, then 75 cents, then 100 cents or a dollar. Then 125, then 150, then 175, then I got two bucks, 200 cents. And what I want to find is I want to find the smallest one that's common. 15, no, 30, no, 45, no, 150. Okay, but if you didn't know the multiples of 15 or even the multiples of 25, that would take kind of a long time, right? Well, that's okay. Let's look at another example. So the least common multiple for this one is... 150. Okay, I listed out the factors, I listed out the multiples, found which one was which. Let's try this next one. What about 8 and 32? Okay, so maybe you're sitting here thinking about 8 and 32 and you think to yourself, well, I already know what the least common multiple is. I already know that it's 32. Well, let's look at where that comes from. 8, oops, sorry. Greatest common factor first. So 1 and 32, or sorry, 1 and 8, 2 and 4 are my four factors. 32 would be 1 and 32, 2 and 16, 4 and 8. So you kind of see how they work to the middle, and when you meet up, they're done. So my greatest common factor for those. 2 is common, 4 is common, and 8 is my greatest common factor. Let's look at least common multiple. Least common multiple. Let me separate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start listing the common multiples of 8. Let's see. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 40 times 5, so 48, 56, 64. Okay, I'm out of room. I'll just stop there. 32. So let's see. Um, well, 32, then 64, then 96, 128. Oh, boy. Uh, Oh boy. Uh, let's see, you got to do a little math down here. 128 plus 32, 0, 1, 6. So this is 0. Carry the 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 1, 6. Okay. All right. Well, that's enough of that because there's 
they just keep getting bigger. Let's see if we have anything common. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. 32 is my least common multiple. 32. Okay, so 32 is my least common multiple. Whew. Man, those seem like a lot of work. Well, the truth is, I'm playing it up a little. But they are a lot of work. And especially when we get to the numbers like 90 and 150, when we start to try to figure out the factors, does 4 go in? What about 6? What about 9? Okay, so all of these things start to become a little bit, you know, kind of fuzzy. we got to know a lot of stuff. And so I want to show you a shortcut method for how to find least common multiple, greatest common factor. Will you let me do that? Okay. This is called the birthday cake method, upside down birthday cake method. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way. I'll take 90 and 150. I'm going to write them side by side. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to divide each of them by the same thing and make them smaller. Okay, so let's watch. I know that both of them are even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a 2. And I'm going to divide both of them by 2. Well, this gives me 45 and 75. Okay. I'm going to try to find something else that's common. Well, something else that's common would be I know that they both have a factor of 5 in them. If I divide them by 5, I get 9 and I get 15. See how it kind of looks like an upside down birthday cake? I'm also going to take out a 3 now. So this is 3 and this is 5. And when I get down to a small number here or numbers that don't seem to have anything in common, I'm kind of thinking I'm done. So let's see. Does anything go into 3 and 5? Well, no, because they're both prime. So I'm pretty much done. Now watch how slick this is. The greatest common factor and least common multiple are right here. All I had to do was this little bit of work. Here's the greatest common factor. No, not 253. It's 2 times 5 times 3, which is 10 times 3, which is 30. Greatest common factor is 30. What about my least common multiple? My least common multiple is here in this L looking deal. So my least common multiple is 2 times 5 times 3 times 3 times 5. Well, this part I already know is 30 times 3 times 5. So 30 times 15 you could do, or you could do 30 times 3, which is 90, times 5 would be 450. Okay? You see how simple that is? Because they're already laid out. All the factors are already laid out right there. All right? And so this is the simple way to do greatest common factor, least common multiple. Let's look at one more. 120 and 192. I know that 2 goes into both of them because they're both even, so I'm going to have 60 here. And here I'm going to divide this one, so I know I've got 190, so that's 45 and 50, which would be uh, 95, 96. Okay. Both even again. So 30, and then this is going to be 48. Both even again, this is good. 2, so this will be 15. 24. Oh boy, it's getting a little tougher. Uh, oh yeah, 3 goes in, so this is 5 and 8. Uh, let's see, well 8's not prime, but 5 is prime. Hmm, hmm, hmm. These are what's called relatively prime. These are what's called relatively prime. They're not prime numbers. Well, one of them might be, but their biggest factor is 1. Okay, so their biggest common factor is 1. So the GCF works the same way. The greatest common factor is going to be these here. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 which is 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. And I'm going to go down to least common multiple. That's uh, going to be these and the L here. Okay. 
2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 8. Well, this is a little bit trickier. I know that this part is 24. So that's 24 times 5 times 8, which gives me 24 times 40. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this. This is going to be 20 times 40, which is going to give me 800 plus... 4 times 40, which is 160, so 960, okay? If I had to try to list all those out, boy, I'd have been listed for a long time. That's Upside Down Birthday Cake Method for LC, for Greatest Common Factor and Least Common Multiple. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.